there. It's Colin Daniel here from RiffNinja.com. Um, if you want to learn more, uh, you're going to have to connect up with the Riff Ninja site. Uh, come and visit me. We've got lots to teach you. Uh, this is a bass lesson if you haven't figured it out. Um, this is one of my basses. I like this one. It's got a sweet, soft sound to it. And uh, this lesson is real bass players don't play with a pick. I've heard that enough times. Um, you guys can all suck it back. I'll tell you why. It doesn't matter whether you play the pick or your fingers or your thumb or whatever. What really matters is the sound. You know, I've seen some players play strictly with just first and second fingers, others with three and some with four and the thumb. None of them were bad. And there's a few bass players that play with one finger only or the thumb only. That's also not the end of the world. It depends on how they learned or what they're trying to get out of their instrument. I do use a hybrid style when I play. I use a very thick pick. Very thick. It's like three, three mil. Really thick. And uh, that's my choice. And the reason why is because, as you know by now, if you've been checking out the YouTube, I also teach guitar. I love the bass and the guitar as much. And uh, so that I can find a happy medium between the two, because I like nails on my fingers. If I start using my fingers for the bass, I'll totally rip my nails apart. Um, so I'm going to use a pick. But you can use your fingers too. It's not, not wrong. I sometimes use my thumb, but more than anything, I use a pick and these three fingers. That's a personal choice. It depends on how fast the song is and uh, what you're trying to accomplish with it, what kind of music you're trying to play. For me, I th the pick uh, gives me a, a physical advantage, a mechanical physical advantage. And you can't really tell when I'm playing the bass if you were to just blindfold yourself. You couldn't really tell whether I was playing with the pick. It's not, it's not about the utensil or the, the, uh, uh, what you're using to play it. It's the tone you get out of your instrument in the end. So um, if you're using a pick, you've got to realize that uh, in order to get a good tone from the bass, that you have to take down the treble because you have to omit the click. So it has to do with too much treble on a bass. You don't want it too bassy either. You want to find that sweet spot. Now this bass to begin with, because it's a hollow body, is pretty soft sounding. And it's a short scale, so it's, uh, it's just what I, I liked this time, or this is what I was in the mood for this time. But you can hear the tones really good. But I do have the advantage of the speed that way with my pick. And yes, you can play just as fast with your fingers as you can with a pick. But I have my reasons. I have my reasons for doing that. Okay? Now, uh, uh, just so you know, if you're going to use your fingers, it's your best bet is to alternate. You know, and when you're moving across the strings, there's a thing called a rest stop. So if you're on the third string, you can rest with your fingers on the string below it and so forth for each other's string, right? I have a hard time with it because my nail does hook on the string. That would be my recommendation. So it's not, it's not wrong to play with a pick and I'm up for the challenge on anybody that says that it's wrong to play with a pick and there's a lot of great bass players out there that use both and some that just use the pick or some that just use the fingers. Um, again, it's up to you. It's however you connect with the instrument. Uh, yeah, don't be so opinionated. Try another way. And there's lots of reasons for the players doing what they do. And uh, read a little more if you need to. You'll find lots of great players use the pick. Um, this is Colin Daniel from the Rift Ninja site. And uh, drop by, uh, check out my Rift Ninja site, see what's happening there. Um, I'm going to do a lot more bass lessons in a lot more detail. Uh, it'd be a good place for you. Uh, come on down and check it out. Uh, this is Colin Daniel. Uh, sign it out for your bass lesson. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.